Hey guys, Ron here. Let's put this uh, Z170 A MSI motherboard and Celeron chip, which we're going to upgrade to an i7 6700 or 7700K, and this uh, Corsair water cooler and uh, some memory. Let's put this in a nice case. I'll put this in a View 31 nice case from uh, Thermal Take. So far, all the products have been exceptional. And uh, let's unbox it. I hope you guys had a chance to look at my uh, World Trade Center artifact video. I, that's really cool. Just uh, fascinating. All right, guys. I've also found opening these from the bottom is better because when you lift it up, it's already right side up. You don't have to flip the case over. And tech tip. It's still hard for me because I'm working with, you know, shoulder surgery, one arm pretty much. One and a half arms. Okay, guys. It's a little bit bigger than I thought it was. It's a little bit bigger than I thought it was going to be, but uh, so far, nice case. Comes with instructions, and we'll get inside and see what we got. So, tempered glass on both sides. Typical thumb screws with a slide out like a normal case. Some people may not like that. I think it's cool because it's uh, you don't get your fingerprints all over. It's easy to maintain. Uh, the case is extra wide. Something nobody has mentioned in their reviews. When you remove this uh, front panel, which is tempered glass. I mean, just a uh, plexi. You don't, this I.O. panel doesn't come out with it, so you don't have to mess with the wires. You have wires hanging off, you can take the front off without messing with that. And it's extra wide, good for cable management. This is included with, I think, three 140 fans, 140 millimeter. And it's got very tall feet on the bottom, which gives it nice clearance. It's got a vertical GPU mount. Uh, not The uh, riser cable is not included. But uh, that's no problem. Alright guys. And this case is way bigger than I thought it was going to be. It's funny. I didn't check the measurements. I just liked the layout. So I went with it. And it's a very thick piece. It's a very thick piece of tempered glass. What's also interesting is when you have thumb screws on the side like a normal one. Sorry about the shaking. Too much coffee. Um, it doesn't fall out. Like some tempered glass you take the thumb of the screws out and it just drops. So vertical GPU mount. Regular uh, hard drive mounts, plenty of room to work. No basement for power supply, which is kind of cool in a way. All right, guys, so uh, I'll try and get the system in here. And it comes with one, oh, only two, only two to 140 millimeters. I thought it came with three. Huh. One in the back. I mean, we'll move that one in the back to the front and put another one that I have back there. And then I got the uh, water cooler. I'm gonna put it probably in the top with the two, the 280 with the two 140s. Typical toolless uh, 3.5 mounts. Comes with a bag of hardware, see uh, screw standoffs, and speaker, and a fan splitter. So pretty cool. And this really is an extra wide case. That's nice. I like that. So uh, there she is. Uh, filter on top and room for your 360 radiator 280. Lots of uh, IO ports plus two verticals. Power supply, rear glass. Alright, guys. Yeah, lots of room in the back. And the case is substantial. Not Without the covers, not a lot of flex. Which a lot of cases, even though they're high quality, they, they have a lot of flex. This thing is really solid. All right, guys. We'll be back. Rubber grommets. Nice rounding. But to me, very important piece. You pull the front panel off to get to the fans or whatever you're doing. You don't have to mess with the I.O. wiring. It's a great, great feature. All right, guys. We'll be back. It's really a nice feature. You can take the front panel off of this, work on your fans or radiators, and not, get to, not to have your wires hanging and pulling from your... Uh, case I.O. stuff. Good thinking guys. That's really important I think. So we're going to take that fan and put it in the front. I'm going to put a smaller fan because the radiator I have in cooling I think is going to be too thick to put with that there unless it's going to go centered. I'm not sure. Got to start fooling with it and see. Alright guys. Alright so I pulled that fan from the back put it in the front with the other one. Two 140s blue. I got a white ring fan in there, so I'm going to take it and put it in the back. And I can figure out where the water cooler and other stuff's going to go. I usually don't show you guys me just installing it because it's boring. 
because I'm using one and a half hands, it kind of looks weird. But I get it done. So here's where we are so far. Got the IO shield in, trying to lay the motherboard in, trying to figure out how I'm going to orient this uh, cooling setup. So uh, that's what we're doing. I may take out this cage, drive cage, and leave it on the side, as opposed to the top. I was thinking of the top, but uh, now I'm not sure. And if you take the drive cage out, you can mount these toolless uh, frames on the rear of the case. So that's pretty good thinking there. But on the top, I think it's going to be too close for the uh, the the uh, hoses to run comfortably without getting kinked up. Alright guys, we'll be back. Maybe. Mm -hmm. Hey guys, so I had to go with the uh, cooler up in the top. I tried to go over here and took out the drive bays, but it wouldn't wouldn't work right. It, it was too tight for the uh, hoses. So I got her in the top and uh, I'll put the drive bay back so it won't feel so empty here. Put the drives in there and then add some SSDs up there and some other good stuff. And uh, that's what we got so far. IO shield is in, most important. Okay, so coolers in the top, drive bays are back, two fans in the front. Got to put a fan over there. I got a ring white ring, uh, 120 white ring fan put in there. And uh, we'll go from there. PSU's got to go on a couple of things, but the wiring looks pretty good so far. So we got it running. Uh, I didn't update you guys. Didn't put a graphics card in yet, but it's running on uh, onboard graphics. Got the uh, cooler in there, fans over there. Got to get an extension. I got to put extension on the mustard and ketchup uh, 24 pin. It's just a little bit. I got a blue one coming. And I got to put an extension on the 8 pin because it was too short to reach around the back. But I got it up and running and tested. Got the three hard drives in there. And uh, here you go. Big case. Very nice. Alright guys, we'll be back in the next adventure.